Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. Now, if you're from California, you most definitely probably heard of several rappers from Stockton, which go by the name EBK, with the most buzzing rappers being people like EBK J-Bo, EBK Young Jock, EBK Trey B, and a long list of others. The rappers claiming EBK hail from the southeast of Stockton and rep an area called Nightingale, which other affiliated rappers from the area, like Young Sloby, along with the rest of the EBK rappers, helped make the area popular in the last few years. Now Stockton is a small city, in an area that's very underrated in Northern California when you compare it to other major cities in the area. Stockton is around an hour away from major cities in the Bay, like Oakland and Frisco, and about 40 minutes away from the capital of California, being Sacramento. So with Stockton being in close proximity to many other major cities in Northern California, you will often see Stockton linking up with other cities nearby in the streets and also in rap. Many people may know Stockton now for the rap scene, but Stockton is known for being one of the deadliest cities in California, especially with its small size. The city is also known for being poverty ridden, with the city going bankrupt many years prior. The Nightingale hood is comprised of Crips and Bloods in the area, which in most hoods claiming both in one game is very unlikely, but their politics is a lot different than most. But EBK as a rap group and the click in the streets will rise to fame around 2018 as a group when they came out rapping as a group called the EBK Hot Boys which included EBK j EBK Young Jock, and a whole lot of others claiming it. After several songs and several videos, the group would later all go solo and begin to make their own careers, which EBK Young Jock and EBK j would have the most success from the group. But during the process of all the Nightingale and EBK rappers blowing up, EBK Osama, EBK j older brother through his dad, was locked up. EBK Osama was a crit from Nightingale, and j and Osama's dad, was also a crip from the area. But j instead of being a crip, became a blood. The EBK crew has a lot of family ties, which I can go deeper into in another episode. EBK Osama would be credited by j as being the founder of the EBK movement, but many EBK members would later say this was false. Osama would have a few songs out, but with him always being in and out of jail, he never got to blow up. But with his release by 2020, he would drop several songs and will also be disrespectful to his enemies. Stockton alone had a lot of beef, but Stockton politics became deeper with Sacramento and the Bay Area through music. EBK rappers connected with South Sacramento rappers and Case rappers from Oakland, and EBK enemies like the Flyboys in Stockton would do songs with rappers from Old Park Bloods, which is a Sacramento gang, which are rivals to several gangs in South Sac. And EBK's enemies like the Flyboys would do songs with rappers from Old Park, which is a Sacramento blood gang, which are rivals to several gangs in South Sac. So you can see Old Park in Sacramento, Stubby in Oakland, and also Flyboys in Stockton, all clicking up for the hatred they all have for gangs in their city, linking up as well. So the politics in Northern California was getting messy and spreading to other cities with gangs in other cities with nothing to do with each other, starting to beef. So that brings me to EBK Osama's fallout with several EBK members, like Hari B, which is EBK Young Jock's brother. Hari B and EBK Osama will both get arrested together on a robbery charge, but this is where things will get tricky and cause separation in the EBK camp. Both EBK Osama and Hari B would claim the other one snitched on each other, causing many people from EBK to choose a side. And both EBK Young Jock and EBK j chose their own brother's side, causing a big split and several subs and direct disses on Instagram and some disses on songs against each other. EBK Osama will later go back to jail where he would record a video where he was with 200 members from Oakland, Case's rivals, who EBK affiliated with, dissing EBK Young Jock in a video. Hey, they talking about running that fade with Jock. Jock just rolled it up, he just got punched on. He finna catch no fade with that little ass boy. I'm 200 some <laughs> pounds, nigga stop playing, I'll wow, hurt that nigga. Oh, we ain't catching fades, no, we stabbing niggas, Pete. You gotta step your penitentiary game up, nigga. EBK Trey B would be going back and forth with Osama, and he would drop paperwork, calling Osama a snitch. Osama and j would further separate themselves, with them collabing in songs with people repping Stubby and 200, which is Case Gang's rivals in Oakland. With them doing that, that was crossing game. But j will also do a lot of time in jail over the next few years. So Nightingale was being carried by Young Sloby and EBK Young Jock. But with Sloby's death in 2022, 
It would later seem to bring the EBK camp back together, even though some people still didn't mess with Osama. Over the next few years, J-Bo would take rap in California over by storm, even though he stayed in and out of jail. EBK Osama would later be released, and even though he didn't drop a lot of music, EBK Osama stayed on social media, being disrespectful to his enemies. EBK gained a following in media for rapping, but they were really in the streets. Many members were dying from their street activities, and also several members were in jail for killing their enemies. And that brings us to just yesterday. Just yesterday morning, an EBK member named EBK Mando was killed in North Stockton. He was 22 and Stockton's 19th murder of the year. Following a shooting early this morning, it happened around 1.30 off of North Pershing Avenue. Police say when they arrived on scene, they found a 22-year-old man was shot. He died at the scene. Police say homicide detectives are currently looking into the shooting. The name of the man who was shot has not been released, and it's not known just yet what led up to the shooting. If you know anything, call Stockton Police. Several EBK members will show respect to him, but his ops would diss him. Now, hours later, after Mando's death, EBK Osama was in Green Haven, an area in Sacramento, not known for a lot of violence, but it is close to several hoods in South Sacramento, and EBK Osama will be shot and killed. And following this morning, Sacramento police investigating a shooting this morning. Now, CBS 13's Dave Grasshoff is live near Riverside Boulevard. Dave, any more information coming down this hour? No, still waiting to find out exactly what happened here. I can tell you, though, that uh, they have part of Riverside, uh, or I should say 43rd Avenue uh, block near uh, Riverside. Yeah, there's a string of apartment complexes. This has seemed to have uh, taken place in between John Fur and Valine Court. I'm in front of the Colony House apartment, which is right next to uh, Mediterranean Village Apartments. There's a whole string of apartments kind of along this stretch. And it seems like they're in the parking lot, kind of the Colony House apartment. CSI and Sacramento Police are on scene. The westbound direction of 43rd Avenue, you can get uh, you can get through, but it's that eastbound. There's people, a lot of people uh, making their way eastbound, trying to get to I-5, and the road is uh, blocked. So some type of shooting that took place uh, as to what, who, when, why. We're still waiting to hear those details exactly from the Sacramento Police Department. But just again, there's uh, quite a few law enforcement vehicles out and around the area. You see the crime scene tape is still up. So we'll stay on scene trying to get any details for you as they become a available. John Ashhope. With EBK Osama's death, many people would show respect to him, but many people would diss him. With the death of several EBK members, the streets for sure would get deadlier. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.